everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I have done um, any video on YouTube, so I haven't really been shopping much, you know. So anyway, for today, um, this is a requested video. I would like to do a um, review of my Emily wallet in the Ompran leather, pink Ompran leather. It's been about six months, so I think, you know, this would be a good review for those of you who are wondering about the lasting power of this, you know, the you know, um, light colored ompron leather. And so I just want to do it together with my mini pochette because I got these two at the same time. So I'll link uh, my unboxing video to these two items from uh, Louis Vuitton Marina Bay Sands uh, later. So you can take a look if you're interested. So, okay, I'll start with the um, Emily wallet. So I do have a um, measuring tape. Oh, by the way, I hope that all of you are doing well and thank you so much for still subscribing to my channel even though I haven't been doing videos so I would like to just give you the measurements um, in length this is about 19 centimeters oh, that's a bad angle um, height is about 10 centimeters as you can see you can see so um, and it is a little bit bulkier it's not as slim as the Josephine wallet but I do love um, the design of the Emily wallet so now going to the leather you know just a close-up for you to see you know the leather has held up really really well you know um, at first I was worried that even though I do love this pink color it is a light color and you know I was worried that it would get dirty you know and stuff like that with use I have been using this wallet pretty regularly almost daily except when I'm using my smaller bags. And then I would just um, stick to this Chanel uh, boy coin purse that I have. So anyway, um, as you can see, there are the button, the gold button is in very, very good condition. It says um, Louis Vuitton Paris. There are some, you know, micro scratches as you might expect, but you know, they don't bother me at all. So the glazing is fine, as you can see. I really don't have any problems with this style of the Louis Vuitton wallet and the interior is still uh, really good. It is in off-white and whenever I see like little marks, I can just wipe it off with, um, you know, either baby wipes or not non-alcoholic um, tish wet tissue paper. So this, my wallet is as is, you know, it's pretty messy. You know, I do have some foreign currency from my business trip to Indonesia and then, um, you know, department store cards I put in here and usually uh, the often used cards are here, uh, the debit cards and, you know, the identification card. But they are right now they're in this little wallet. So, and then, as you can see, uh, made in Spain. And there is a um, oops, coin compartment, which I don't really use for coins because it's lined in light pink. I do have some foreign currency coins in there from my business trips. And yeah, so all in all, um, I really, really love this wallet. You know, I don't really see any big problems with this despite it being a light color. So if you're thinking of getting an Ompran leather, um, good, a small leather good, or even the purse, I mean the handbag from Louis Vuitton, please do go ahead. I don't really see any problems. You know, you just need to wipe of any dirt or you know smudge marks or whatever from your hands or fingers um, with wet tissue and it works fine so yeah I do love this wallet and it is still my favorite wallet so if you're you know if you're just here for the Emily wallet that's it but I like to talk about the mini pochette I know you know mini pochette is really really popular everybody probably has a video on it but I just like to talk about it a little bit so I've had this for five to six months now as well as you can see, there is some patina on the uh, uh, Vachetta leather tab here because as you know, Vachetta leather is untreated, so that is to be expected. But uh, the mini Porsche usually just stays in my purse. I don't really take it out, you know, I mean, like, unless I'm like going to like doing my touch-ups, you know, for makeup and yeah, and maybe sometimes for lunch, you know, just with some small change, go downstairs to get something. And so mine is made in Paris, as you can see on the tab. The gold chain is still very, very shiny, so I usually keep it like this, but you know, you can also unfasten it and use it 
and just um, fasten it over here and use it as a wristlet which works pretty fine so no problems with the zipper I just love Louis Vuitton zippers I do have to say that the canvas the body part is softer you know because I use it every day even though it stays in my purse as a makeup so I just like to show you quickly what's inside here I do have to play Tetris a little bit if I want to fit in more stuff so here I have a uh, Chanel they are Le Beige Healthy Glow Gel Touch Foundation Sample so I bought something yesterday and the essay was very kind and she gave me a sample I do like this formula but it's you know very light coverage and it's mostly for touch-ups in my opinion and then um, you know all papers I do have them and yes I got this yesterday's uh, Chanel um, liquid lipstick uh, Rouge Allure is number 148 and I'm wearing it it's just a, a vibrant red I don't really have red lipsticks like true red so I thought I wanted to give it a try I like this formula a lot and just some um, other you know eye and lip products Tony Moly and some Japanese brands and Urban Decay mascara and yes I do use this um, Maybelline, Maybelline um, concealer for dark circles and Becca concealer and I'm not sure why I have a philosophy sample here and a brush and Stila eyeshadow <coughs> connector from my iPhone 7 so this is how the interior looks like it's uh, wipeable actually but I don't really see much dirt <coughs> in it so yeah so yes, I do love these, um, the mini pochettes, you know, uh, they have came out with the limited edition animal print for Christmas, I believe. I'm not sure if I'm getting one. Uh, actually, I like the um, last year's limited edition more, the one with the people traveling. So I don't know, but yeah, so these are the two, this is my review for today of these two um, SLGs from Louis Vuitton. I love uh, Louis Vuitton SLGs. I think they're very, they hold up very, very well and um, quality is good, you know, so yeah i hope you find this helpful and i hope to do another unboxing video soon so uh, i'll see you soon and have a wonderful wonderful day thank you for watching bye